This is the Unihertz Atom, the smallest rugged smartphone in the world. We are used to seeing big and bulky rugged devices, but the Atom can easily fit into the palm of your hand. This is certainly one of the most compact phones you can buy at the moment that has a full version of Android 8.1, an octa chipset that is coupled with a good amount of RAM and storage. Further, this little device can take a beating as it is made of shock-resistant rubber. The phone is water resistant too thanks to IP68 certification. What is nice is that we have a headphone jack and a USB Type-C port for charging that are not covered with any flaps despite the fact that the phone is water resistant. The overall build quality is excellent and the buttons feel nice. There is also a dedicated PPT button that works in tandem with the Zello app which is a very convenient way of communication. Now a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Wondershare. The all-new PDF Element 7 is a powerful PDF file editor that has all-new minimalist yet powerful user interface. This application has a full-featured word processor that lets you edit PDF files with ease, convert PDF files to Office files, and so on. With this software, you can get the flexibility to provision, track, and manage licensing across groups and teams, and so on and so forth. Check out the video description to learn more. The display is tiny. It's a 2.45-inch panel with a pretty low pixel density, but it's good enough for daily use. As you may expect, it's not really comfortable to type on this tiny panel, but after a little bit of practice, it's possible to do that. It is pretty incredible that the manufacturer managed to squeeze in the fingerprint scanner onto this tiny device that works pretty well. There is also a face unlock feature that may not be the fastest out there, but it gets the job done. The loudspeaker is implemented on the back. The sound quality is just average. Here is a quick audio test. As for the cameras, we have a 16 megapixel shooter on the back and an 8 megapixel snapper on the front. The overall image quality might not be the best, but it's pretty good for a rugged device. Some of the daylight shots look nice, but don't expect stellar results in low light. Selfies look alright too. The video quality is pretty bad and the footage is shaky. Selfie video, on the other hand, is usable. Day-to-day -day performance of the phone has been pretty good, but it really depends on what you do with this phone. Scrolling through the UI, social media, or websites is really comfortable unless you need to start typing something, but again, with a little bit of practice, it's possible to do that. The phone feels smooth and fast thanks to decent hardware inside and almost stock Android. Gaming on this phone is quite an interesting experience. I mostly played racing games and the overall performance is pretty good no matter which games you play since the processor and GPU does not need to push many pixels. You might look a little bit funny using the phone for calls, but the call quality and signal reception have been pretty good. The GPS is also quite accurate and the phone has NFC that many budget phones lack. Further, there are some sensors on board including a gyroscope. A 2000 mAh unit assures good battery life thanks to a tiny and not so power hungry display. On average, you should get about 8 hours of screen on time. My record SOT time was 9.5 hours. The Unihertz Atom is a unique rugged phone that fits into the palm of your hand and it offers decent hardware, good overall performance, great battery life, and the cameras that can take decent pictures in good lighting. The retail price of about 260 bucks does not make this the cheapest device out there, but if you want a little rugged phone that stands out from a crowd, the Unihertz Atom is worth checking out. What do you think about this device? Would you buy this one or would you choose another similar option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on social media and as always, it was Lionus, thank you for watching and see you soon.